I've got a bit of a project that I want to do which is similar to the multicast TV server that I did in the past except this time I'm going to build it in this one rack unit uh, enclosure here. So I'll start by having a look at what I think we'll need. Hopefully I've got everything. Okay, it's going to be based on two Raspberry Pis, uh, each one having three TV tuners and it's going to be powered by a PoE splitter. That way I don't have to worry too much about the power cables to it. So that's two of those. The connections at the back, I'm going to have an F-type antenna connection and two RJ45 sockets. One of them just going to each splitter. And speaking of splitters, the antenna is going to come into this six-way splitter and feed each of the uh, TV tuners. And we've got the F-type connectors to go onto the RG6 antenna cable. That should go from the splitters to the other end, which will be the F-type, and then I've just got F-type to the TV antenna connections so they can fit into the actual TV tuners. Okay, six of those. A little bit of a pre-made cable to go from there. Some nuts and bolts to mount the connectors at the back and the screws for the lid. So that's what I plan to put in here and hopefully make it nice and neat. So I've got my tools that I think I need and some cat five over there and should be right to go. I'll start with what I think is going to be the hardest part of this and that's mounting the connectors at the back to the uh, piece of plastic here. So I'll just get rid of that out of the way. So I'm going to have to be as accurate as I can so this makes it nicely in the middle and is all neat. Okay, the first two holes. Now, the tricky part is going to be the rest so that I can get the RJ45 connectors through and the F-type. So I'm going to use this um, big hole drilling kind of bit here, which is pretty good. Just going to make a few pilot holes first, roughly where I think these should be. Okay, to get these holes the right size to fit around these connectors here, I'm going to do something which probably shouldn't do, but it works, so I'm going to do it anyway. And that's use a soldering iron to just burn out the bits that I need. So. Let's see how close that was. <laughs> okay, the holes line up. And uh, there it is. So what I'll do, before I screw that into the plastic, I'm going to put the, the Cat5 on here so I can still work with it on the bench here before I do, before I connect it to the plastic. So, Cat5, now, wherever the box is. It's going to go, I don't exactly know how I'm going to run it yet, but it's not going to be more than that. So, just cut off two lengths of that. Okay. And I'll put these onto the RJ45 connectors. Okay, 
Now they're terminated. Feed them through here. As you check the bolts fit first, they might be a bit tight. Squeeze. Let's see. If I, just make sure I can get these in there. Yeah, they'll go in. Okay, let in. Yeah. It is now mounted on the plastic. It actually worked out quite well. So hopefully when I put it back in the uh for now. Put it back in here. Here's the connectors at the back. Alright. Leave that in there. Okay, that's the network and power for the Raspberry Pi is done. Now I have to do all this coax, which I'm not looking forward to, but it's not going to do itself. So here he goes.
Right, there's six coax cables terminated. Now, just have to put it all together, tidy it up a bit, and this should be pretty much done. All right, let's see what we can do. There it is. A rack mountable TV server. Doesn't look too bad. It looks better than six Raspberry Pis screwed to a piece of wood. I'll say that much. Okay, back under the stairs where all the equipment generally lives. It's a moment of truth. So I've got the antenna. Plug that straight in. There it is. Okay. And two cables to the switch. So if I plug them both in. Cables are all connected, antenna and two network cables, that's it. And uh, on the switch, I don't know if you can see, but the links have come up, so the power of the Ethernet splitters that I put in here have, have worked. And you, you can see bits of lights inside there anyway. So that system is now booting up and going to be on the network.